It's time for another soup group. And what is soup group? Well, for us, it is four of us, including myself, making a batch of soup for each of us. And we bring them together at someone's house and then we exchange soups, ending up with four different soups. We started a couple months ago and was gonna do it every other month and decided we love doing it so much, so we're gonna do it every month. And also what we do is we rotate home, so each time we have soup group, we're somewhere different, and usually the hostess whips up bread or a dessert, and I try to include that for you as well. So let's get into the video and let's get our soup on. The soup I'm making this time is a Reuben soup, and I'm gonna start with six tablespoons of butter and melt that over medium high heat. We're gonna add our two onions that have been chopped and diced. Those in the butter, our celery, that is four ribs of celery that I've diced, calls for four large cloves of garlic, we're going to use our minced garlic, big tablespoon, I also have garlic I roasted, whole cloves, I'm going to put those in here too. You can see my celery and my onions are now translucent sauteing in that butter. I've also added that roasted garlic, oh, which is giving out such a great fragrance. Let's go ahead now and add the rest of our ingredients. Our corned beef. This is our deli corned beef. I did slice it into little bitty pieces. Oh yeah. Our beef broth. We want a total of eight cups of this. And this is four cups. And then I made another four cups with our beef bouillon cubes. All right, we're going to add a total of two cups of sauerkraut. This is like a cup and a half, a can. So I have a little more to add. Out of a cup here. Oh, that's looking great. Because we are serving this for soup group, which means I have to have four servings of it to fill my jars, so four jars worth, I wanna add more liquid just to make sure I have enough. And because that beef broth is salty and as well as the corned beef, we're just gonna add water this time. So I'm gonna do it right now, just another cup. Keep that to the side, keep an eye on it. We're gonna turn up our heat just a little bit since there's so much liquid in here. We want this to get to a simmer. You could put this in a slow cooker. If your corned beef, if you got that in a package as a big corned beef, you could have put this in the slow cooker with all these ingredients and just let it slow cook all day. I'm actually just gonna keep an eye on it here on the stove and just let those flavors simmer together after it's been cooking for an hour or so, we are going to add our cream and our Swiss cheese. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of caraway seeds. Let's just make sure. We'll add more later if needed. Let's stir that in. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're gonna need more water. That's reducing, it's looking great. And now I have this pot on the side. We are going to try the cheese melted with the heavy whipping cream and then take some of the soup and mix it together because I have read in the comments that there were some clumping of the cheese when it got into the heated mixture. So we're gonna go ahead and do our own little side test here to make sure that doesn't happen to our beautiful soup. All right, here's our cheesy milk mixture. This is just the fourth a cup of whipping cream with about an ounce of Swiss cheese added in at a time as it completely melted. I'm so glad we did our cheese experiment because we did realize when we mixed it, and I say we because my son helps me with this, 
He is such a good science food experimenter. So we ended up three batches trying to work with different cheeses and come to realize that the Swiss cheese actually does clump and it becomes very gritty when you melt it just with heavy whipping cream. So I don't know if it's our brand of Swiss cheese or if it's with heavy whipping cream, but it came out pretty gritty. So I'm just gonna add the heavy whipping cream directly to our pot here and just stir that in. And that's gonna give us a nice creamy soup and not worry about cheese clumping. Okay, we're gonna let that cook down a little bit. And what we'll do for our soup group is we will take the cheese, the shredded cheese, and just melt that on top when we have our soup. These are the two cheese experiments we worked with. We did a smoked Gouda and an Irish cheddar. They both turned out a lot better than the Swiss cheese, but the Irish cheddar actually turned out the best. And I will probably put a couple tablespoons of that into the soup towards the end, because I think stirring that in will add some richness and be really good. Uh, the Swiss cheese will reserve for the top only. My marble rye from Aldi, the loaf of bread, is now going to become my croutons. So what I did was I just buttered them and then we put a couple in the air fryer and also the rest on a sheet pan in the oven at 250 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes. The rye bread has so much flavor. I didn't add any seasonings to it. I just cut it up into cubes and then I stored it in a plastic bag for when I was ready to go. Okay, my bag of croutons ready to go with us to soup fruit. Perfect. Time to fill our soup jars. Our soups are complete. It made the perfect amount. Four full jars of Reuben soup. So that's one jar for each of the soup group members, not counting myself, and one jar that we will sample at the party. Ready to go to soup group. We have arrived to our event and check out these teacups that are gonna be our little soup cups and our soups are being put out on display for each of us to take home. And we were met with this grilled brie and one of our friends found these four leaf clovers in her yard and personalized one for each of us, love it. And check this out, the bread of the night is these gorgeous popovers. First time she's ever made them, they came out amazing, fabulous. And then check this out, her dessert of the evening. This is a tiramisu cake from Walmart. And what she does is she takes her leftover coffee from the morning, pours that in to her dish here, adds some Kahlua as well. She will let that seep into the cake, taking it up about 10 notches, making it fabulous. We'll let that do its thing while we go and sample our soups. First up, my Reuben soup with rye croutons and Swiss cheese. And then we had taco soup with beans and corn and tomatoes. The seasonings were perfect. It was delicious. And then it was curry tomato soup. The curry spice in this took it out of this world. Our fourth soup was this wonderful Mediterranean soup with chickpeas and sweet potatoes and garam masala to give it that deep, robust flavor. It was so yummy. And we were spoiled. We even got a fifth soup to have this night. One of our members brought a homemade strawberry soup. Oh my gosh, you guys, this soup was amazing. It was chilled and smooth and perfectly refreshing. That and the tiramisu, we were so spoiled. I loved our soups. Here they are to take home. My family was thrilled to have the soups all week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to know the recipes of all our soups, leave a comment below. We're considering a cookbook. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe.